Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series titled Subnautica. This is a early access game currently in development on Steam, but it is far enough along that we're going to do a let's play and we're going to get right into this. So we're going to do a new game. We are going to do the freedom style. So this is a survival game. Um, it does have hunger and thirst and oxygen. It is a lot of underwater adventuring, um, but we are going to be playing this in freedom mode because the hunger and the water are fun when you're playing by yourself and it's a good challenge and I always like a challenge but for a let's play I don't want to be stopping every few minutes to try to find food and water so we're gonna start with the freedom this is the experimental branch of the build so it's gonna be quite a few things that are different from just the normal game so a new game freedom we're gonna get started here so while this is loading the premise of this is that this is our ship right here. It was sent on a terraforming mission. There'll be a cutscene in a second that'll tell you all this, but uh, basically we crashed and we have to survive. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel during its descent. The Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. Alright, so we're going to get started here, and you're going to notice a lot of things popping up at the top. A lot of notes and things, and we can always take a look at these. We can go to tab and select our log, and we'll see all of these things. Uh, this is my favorite. Welcome to placeholder experimental story mode. Story text will display here and probably break. <laughs> these developers have a great sense of humor. Um, I've really been trying to keep up with this game because I like it a lot and, and really enjoy playing it. So this is our fabricator. We can use this to create different things, basic materials from titanium to silicon, glass, bleach, uh, lead, magnesium, enamel glass, all this great stuff. Uh, electronics, we've got copper, batteries, um, power cells, computer chips, wiring kits, personal, we have equipment, we have all kinds of things, tanks, fins, suits, first aid kits, rebreathers, pipes, thermometers, tools, we have flashlights, survival knife, flare, builder, welder, deployables, we have mobile vehicle bay, beacon, small storage cube, and a grav sphere. So when we get first get started here, I'll take a look out here and kind of show you what's going on. So looks like we have in this in the experimental branch we actually have islands within our reach uh, this is our ship that we can't get near because it will give us uh, radiation sickness basically there's another island over there it looks pretty nice um, so yeah this is our pod we have stuff underneath us looks like it's not too deep that's good and we're gonna go back down because we have can't do anything with the fire extinguisher we can open this, but there's nothing in it. Maybe something in the future. But we are given some random supplies to start the game, so let's see what we've got. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, yes, this is great. Copper, lithium, computer chip, and a welder. This is really, really good start. First things first, I'm going to repair this because it gets annoying. So I think it's good. I'm not it's not zapping anymore okay so I think that's good now next thing we're gonna do is what I want to get really quick is the uh, builder and to do that we need a battery so we're gonna go collect a couple things just swim around here Ooh, I see you see that fish right there we do not want him to come out but we do want that quartz. So we're going to need to grab a couple of these acid mushrooms. Oh, what is that? I think that's from the welder, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's from the welder. Um, hmm. We're going to have to put that away so it doesn't keep doing that in our face. But we'll get to that. So we're just picking up things here. Um, yep, about to run out of oxygen. You know what, let's put this up, because that's going to get really annoying. We don't really need a welder out here. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, much better. 
So, we need to find, this is good, we need some titanium. This metal salvage we can turn into titanium. Oh, here's good, this is good. Hopefully we'll get some copper from this. Ah, uh, titanium, that's okay. I'd rather have copper. I can get all the titanium I want. I kind of consider titanium basically an unlimited resource because there's always, this is procedurally generated world, so there's always new things when you come out. Uh, this quartz we'll use to make glass, or we can use it to make silicone, to make fins, which we'll do. Oh, Emergency. got a surface. Ten seconds of oxygen yep. remaining. Okay, and let's see if we can find another one of those limestone. Ooh, here we go. So this is a fragment of things that we'll be able to make. So this is the seamoth fragment. The seamoth is the first submarine that we'll be able to get. Um, this does have some frame skip in it. When It seems like it's got some frame skip whenever it loads a new biome. Another seamoth fragment. But I can't replicate it very often. It's just, it's kind of random. So, um, maybe I'm thinking it's just, I mean, I've got it on 1080p, like 60 frames a second. And it's, I mean, we can take a look here, actually. Um, let's see if we can do this. Uh, Alt F12. Nope. Nope, not what I want. There we go. So I'm getting like 30 frames a second, which, you know, honestly, I'm quite happy with. Um, so I don't think it's the frames, but I don't know. Maybe it is. We'll see. I'm hoping that this is it's just part of the experimental build and that there's something going on with the bombs loading and they're loading funky. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I just wanted to apologize up front because there will be some frame skip occasionally. So we need to find some copper. Copper is what we need at the moment. And to get copper, here we go. So here's some more limestone. Yep, of course it's titanium. Copper is the rare drop. Oh, there it is. Okay, copper. We got copper. So copper is the rare drop. Titanium is the common. Then there's also sandstone in different biomes, and the sandstone common drop is silver, and the rare drop is gold. And we will need some of that, but not right now, because we have a computer chip. Since we have the computer chip, we don't need the silver, but if we didn't have the computer chip, we would have needed some silver. We'll go down in there later. We don't really have the oxygen for it now. We didn't need the silver to make the computer chip, so that was good. That was a really, really good start that we had. Okay, I see you. I want to see what this is. Oh, and I see this quartz, too. Really good starting area. Titanium. Okay. All right, let's head back. Back to the life pod here. Climb up. This is a different animation, too, with him climbing the ladders. That's new. So, yeah, there's nothing I can do with this, right? No. I wish it would, like, put the cover back on, but that's okay. So resources, let's go ahead and break down our titanium. So you can see it takes the metal salvage and it gives you four titaniums. So that's, that's kind of what I was saying with unlimited titanium. Um, you can always swim around and find metal salvage. It doesn't go away. So it's, I kind of consider that an unlimited resource. And we're going to need a lot of that when we make our underwater base. Oh yeah, that's right. There's underwater bases. And they are fully customizable. So, first thing, I want to make some fins so I can swim a little bit faster. So I need two of those. I need some glass to make some tanks and also to make the hatch. Hmm. Okay. Continuing to monitor. You do that. Okay, so battery this is ba this is made from an acid mushroom two of them and copper ore makes a little duracell there copyright claim uh, <laughs> so then we're going to make a builder so we're going to take a computer chip and a battery yes yes we are also going to make a survival knife this takes titanium and silicone rubber um, i'd rather have this than the fins right now i know i only have two um, silicone and I needed those for the fins but you know what I would rather have the knife at this point because it'll help protect us I do want to make the tanks to give us more time on the bottom there we go so now we look at our inventory we have a whole bunch of titanium 
a couple seamoth fragments and a piece of silicone, stuff like that. So I want to put a couple things away. Oh, we did have a copper. <laughs> oh well. Alright, so salt deposit, which is very good. We are going to use that salt deposit soon to make a med kit because I'm sure I will get hurt eventually. So let's put... You can use the one, two, three, four, five keys to change out your quick slots. So I always want my uh, hello. I always want my knife in my number one spot. That helps. So this does have a day-night cycle, which honestly is very helpful when searching for. Yep, see nighttime approaches, and you'll notice when night comes, night comes, and it is dark. Um, the good news is things glow in the dark. So all these quartz glow really really well um, the mushrooms really glow it's kinda nice it's really beautiful actually so um, I usually like to do all of my gathering at night I'm gonna go ahead and grab two more of these since I have the copper ore that way we'll make one more battery And with a knife in your hand you can do it just like that one hit takes out the limestone or sandstone so much nicer having those tanks as well to be able to just take your time, swim through, find what you need to find. You're not constantly having to go up and look for air. See, I wouldn't have found these. Ooh, see, it's dark in this cave. It is really dark. I hope this isn't too dark for you guys. Ooh, this, this might be a bad idea. I need to get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Swim, please swim. Please no. Please no. Please no. No, please. No, please. Go up. Go up. Go, 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 go. I think we're okay. Whew, man. I got scared there for a minute. Um, hello? We get to the surface? There we go. Okay, so we got a couple more things. See how everything glows? You can see... Look at this. I can count the quartz. One, two, three. You can find this stuff everywhere in the, at night. It's amazing. You can see those seed pods over there on those creep vines. Those are creep vines that are hanging up over here. Sorry about that. I had to cough. Didn't want to do it in the mic. So we are going to need these for some lubricant. Um, I don't want to stray too far away. And honestly, I need to make sure I'm not going towards the big ship. Because it will kill you. Now we're going away from it. Good. Okay. So I just want to go over here enough to get a couple seed clusters. I'll stay close to the top just in case. Okay, once we get close enough. I really need those fins, but um, it'll kind of become moot once I get these seed clusters and a couple things because we'll be able to make a thing called a sea glide, which is basically a handheld propeller that will allow me to go through the water. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You better back it up. I am not even bothering you. So there are hostile mobs, as you can see. They like to hang out in the creep vines. Um, I don't think he's following me. Get out of the creep vine. Get out of the creep vine. Yeah, he's way down there. Okay. Whew. I grabbed a couple of those creep vines because we can use them to make a med kit. And I'm probably going to go ahead and do that just to have one on me. Because I have a tendency to like to fight those and all I really have is a knife right now doesn't really do much so gotta be careful um, because they hurt pretty bad when they bite I think I've got all the quartz that's around my base so we're just gonna come up here because we're about to start building I've never had a start like this where I could build so soon at the beginning this is very nice all right, before we do anything else, I do want to make some more silicone. And that should be enough. I'm going to make a glass. Okay, now I can make fans. Oh, what? Did, oh, I put it up. Okay. I was about to say, I know I had a silicone. All right, so we'll take that. And how many do I have over here? Four. Yeah, okay, and I'll take that to make, to make the bleach. So, go ahead and make... Oh, the lubricant. Yeah, we go ahead and make that. Oh, don't tell me I need more than one salt deposit. Oh, a coral sample. Okay, we can do that. I want to make that. Okay. 
And then I want to make... What do I, What was I going to make? I've got a knife. Oh, fins. Yes. So this does have sort of the stick figure um, way to put things on. These are put on automatically. We'll eventually have apparently something for our head and some sort of biomedical implant, I'm assuming. Um, and swim swimsuit, yeah, wetsuit. Here are all the blueprints that we have. All the stuff for our base, these glass corridors, a room. We're going to get into that real shortly. And I mean real shortly. So let's take a look at, oh, nope, come back. Inventory. Um, we're going to put a couple things away, but we need to get a coral sample. So let's just go down right quick and grab a quick coral sample from right here. I think this is what I need. Giant coral tubes. Picked up coral sample. Perfect. I want to make this med kit so I have one on me. Let me get rid of some of this other stuff. So the way to make a med kit. Bleach. Salt deposit coral sample. And since we're not... We don't have food or thirst. We don't need the salt to cure any meat. So I'm going to go ahead and make another glass. Actually, I'm going to make two more glass. Because I think I'm going to need it for the base. There we go. Alright, so then once we have the bleach and we have some creep vine samples, two of them, we can make a first aid kit. Really comes in handy when you're swimming around down there. Um, I'm not too concerned with the tank at this point, so I'm going to put away anything I don't really need. Um, I guess I can make one more battery. Let's do that. Just to, just to free up some room. Make a battery. Because we are going to need that. Actually, is this open? Yes, it is. Okay, so copper wire. That will take two copper. We do not have two copper yet. That's fine. We'll put that away. Lubricant. Creep vine. Creep vine. First aid kit will keep on us. Titanium. Then we want all the titanium. Oop, too many. Lithium, we don't need yet, but we will use that later on, rest assured. Alright, so, now that we've got all this titanium, we are about to start our very first sea base. And I want to see, where do I want to put this? I kind of like putting it in a flat area. I don't really want it directly below. Um, I don't want to go that way. But if I go this way, yeah, I'm thinking that we put it maybe right down here. Yeah, I'm liking this because we have sort of a drop-off right there. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm liking this. All right, so let's do this and let's build ourselves a foundation. Yeah. So foundation, you don't have to have a foundation. But by using one, let's go up a little bit. By using a foundation, it makes your structure a lot stronger and less prone to leaks. Which is really good. Because um, you don't want to leak. Leaks are bad. Um, ooh. Okay, let's put it there. That'll be fine. Then I'm going to have to get some air. I don't think I have enough time. Let's try. I might have enough time to put the hatch on and get inside. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yes. I do. Get in. Oh, there we go. So you can see, it will replenish your air. So, while I'm in here, you can see power zero of zero, but that's okay because we're in freedom mode. With freedom mode, you don't have to worry about the power, um, which is nice. So, power, we're not concerned with. I'll probably do it anyway, just so I don't see this and it make it look complete. But, for now... It's okay. So we're going to put a fabricator in. I like putting it kind of right here out of the way. So I'm probably not going to put a corridor right here next to the door. Then I want to make a small locker. Oh no, I'm out. I need quartz. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What do I have left? I've got some titanium and some glass. So if I made... I kind of want to... Let's see what... Let's go outside because I kind of want an observatory out here. So if I want the observatory out there, I need to make a, maybe a glass corridor. Yeah. Oh, what? What? I can't just attach it, like right there? 
Really? Um. Okay, so I can attach it. I can attach it right there. But that's not. No, I want to. Oh, there we go. Mouse wheel. <laughs> Mouse wheel turns it. Be smart. Okay. So, yeah, I like that. Glass corridor coming out. And do I have enough? I think I do. Okay, can I attach? Caution. Readings from the Aurora suggest erratic fluctuations. Come on. Do me right. There we go. Nope, nope. A breach of the main drive chamber there. may cause a cascading okay. quantum flux detonation. I don't want this to develop a leak. See how it puts the little supports there? I, I like that. So, that's really, really good. Alright. I think that was pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I have. So, I need to do... Warning, 30 seconds oh, let's of get oxygen some oxygen. Remaining. I mean, how great is this? We're like... 10 minutes into the game, we already have a sea base with a glass corridor. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me that is not amazing. Got the drop off down there. How beautiful is that? Okay. So let's head back out. Now that we have our oxygen. I did see... Yep, I saw some quartz. I see you. I see you too. You're gonna blow up. You're gonna blow up. Hi, you didn't get me. Okay, and this actually has stuff in it that you can take and then go to town. I see you. Come on. You gonna blow up? What? I really just want to get to that thing that I saw. There it is. These are cool, so you can actually grab these loader and attach it to things and once you get enough it'll actually float that rock to the surface so they're they're pretty cool um, oh I didn't get him oh that one hurt oh that hurt okay that's okay that's okay no big deal come on we're not close enough there we go all right all this for probably a titanium, if I'm honest. Yep, titanium. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, I really don't want to get blown up by them. I'll leave that titanium. Why did it not pick it up? That's so weird. I mean, my inventory is obviously not full. I am going to go ahead and use this. Yep, that restores 50. Alright, back to work. Let's look around. Uh, looks like we got some mushrooms. Looks like oh here we go. So we got some metal salvage down here. More titanium. And I think if we kind of hug the bottom here, we might even come across some stalker. What? Oh, that was yeah. Cause I'm a genius like that. I am gonna do this, which is probably not a great idea. Um, can I get there? Might be quicker to get here. Oh no. You better swim, pal. Oxygen does not refill as fast inside here as it does outside. So, okay. Hang out here for a second. No big deal. We can go ahead and... Ooh. Oh man, that was bad. That was bad news. Don't be doing that. Okay. Um, put it away. Can I not? Oh, of course. I think I broke it. Um, can I deconstruct it and reconstruct it? Is that a thing? This might be cheaty. Is this cheaty? Do you guys think this is cheaty? I feel like it might be cheaty if it works. Let's find out. Oh, really? Is it because it's unpowered? I thought I didn't have to worry about power. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like having to deal with power. I mean, I don't mind power. That's passive. Food and water, they're more active, and it's just not that great for a Let's Play. Um, this is good. I can finish the cabinet. Alright, and I think there was a limestone. Oh, no, I got that limestone. Okay, but here's more. So this is usually where the sandstone is, is around these. And you got to keep an eye out when you're in these creep vines because... 
The stalkers... Nope, limestone. Okay. The stalkers will come after you down here. This is sort of their terrain and their home. Um, and they like to hoard this metal salvage. So I'm always keeping my head on a swivel when I'm down here. Limestone. Man, what is going on? See, over there's one. Yep, over there's some stalkers. I would like to pick up some stalker teeth, however. Um, the teeth you use to make enamel glass. And we need the enameled glass for um, a couple of different things. One, we need it for our observatory. Alright, let's swim up. We need it for the observatory, but we also need it for a submarine that we're going to build later on in game. So, it's always nice to collect some stalker teeth when you can. So, oh, didn't get all the air. Got to stay up for a second when you got all these tanks. Okay, back down. You can get air from these. They put out three bubbles every once in a while with like 10 seconds per bubble, I believe. I don't think... Let's see. Yep, they gave me about 10, I think. Limestone, titanium. I really, really, really want some sandstone. I wouldn't mind getting some gold and silver. Um, but maybe I'm not in the right biome for that. Maybe. But the copper that we're getting will be good because it will let us make copper wire and the copper wire will let us make a sea glide oh no 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 I, I see you I'm backing away backing away slowly we're cool we're cool limestone titanium inventory full should have checked that okay no big deal let's swim up oh look at all that metal salvage down there Alright, so where is our... We should have a beacon. Yep, there we go. And this is our... Yeah, here we go. Alright. So, let's go inside. Get us some more titanium. And finish off our... Um, cabinet. Our small cabinet. There's two types of cabinets. So there's the small one. I think this is called a cabinet. The locker. Is it a locker? Is it a locker? Um, small locker. It takes two titanium and one quartz. The large locker takes two titanium and a glass, which is two quartz. And to be honest, you don't really gain much with the big locker. Plus, you have to put it in the floor. You can't even put it on the wall. You can't rename it like you can this one. Like, I can take this one and call it metals. So I can put all my metals in there. So things like copper, titanium, any um, gold or silver that I get. Uh, still can't use the fabricator, that's right. Oh no, okay. What does it take to make power? Titanium and quartz. Um, did I put quartz up? I did not, I used it. Okay, that's fine. We'll try to find some. Should be coming up on night where we'll be able to find some more. So, oh, right there it is. Look at there. How good are we? Okay, sorry about that. I had to cough again. Okay, got a nice little mute button on my mic so that I'm not coughing right in your ear. I am getting a bit of a cold, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. Alright, so, oh, we were going to make, yeah, I got to make some power before I can do anything else. So let's do this. If we make a solar panel, can we put it down here? I mean, we can. Is it going to do anything? Why can I not make it? Can I not make you? Do I not? Oh, well, can I have titanium? Luckily, we put some in our locker. Two. Okay, we're going to try to get this going, there we go, quartz, and voila, we are getting power, alright, power restored, power restored. one of 25, two of 25, oh, you know what, I think I've got the locker too close. I think I do. I think that's the problem. 
Deconstruct. Now will you work? No, you still won't work. Huh. There we go. Okay, so it does need to be powered. That's fine. We'll see what this takes. Yeah, that takes all my power. And at least it worked. So that was good. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Um, tell you what. Let's do a little bit of exploring since it's nighttime. We'll let power go on that. I already have some quartz right here. We might even make us some more solar cells. Once we get a little bit more, let's take a quick look around our immediate surroundings here. Oh, that's what we were going to do. Yeah, let's do that right quick. So, I need that copper. Yeah. We're going to make a sea glide, and then we'll end the episode. So let's make ourselves a sea glide. I think I need... Or did I... Of course I did. Of course I got everything out. Why would I have not gotten everything out? I'll go ahead and make this here. Copper wire. That take it all. Yep. That's fine. I think there's stuff up in the... Up in this I need anyway. So that's cool. Just looking as I'm going up. Making sure I don't miss anything. There we go. Okay. Climb on in. This has unlimited power. Uh, these are self-charging power cells. Okay, so we need that. And we need that. Oh, we can't get that. Um, let's put these away. So we need the battery. I think we had everything else. Let's find out. Fabricator. Uh, deployables. Yes, Sea Glide. Warning, readings from the Aurora. Oh yeah. Oh look. Consistent with total degradation of the dark matter oh, are you going to blow up at night? Spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur with a probability of 83.5%. Nope, you're not ready to blow up yet. Okay, let's try out our new toy before we end the episode. Ready for this? Here we go. Oh, look how much faster. We got a little flashlight on the front. I already see some quartz over here. You know what that means. We can make another energy cell. Solar cell, whatever they're called. <laughs> Alright, can I put this... It would be nice if I could put it, like, next to it. Where it kind of looks good. Um, yeah, like right there. Yes. Yes. Transmit your power. Send it on. We are, we are going to need these a lot. Um, eventually, what we might do, the further down they are in the ocean, the less sunlight they get. And obviously, they don't get any at night. So, what we might end up doing is maybe making a vertical connector up, putting another room or something up there where we can connect the solar cells will deconstruct them and move them up and maybe even get them out of the water so all right guys well that's going to do it for this episode i really hope you guys enjoy this i'm really looking forward to this series it is a game that i absolutely love to play it's so much fun and i think you guys will enjoy it too if there's oh goodness oh man that was stupid <laughs> Well, of yep, good thing we got this sea glider. We'd have never made it to the surface either. Alright, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. I am going to be putting these out regularly, and you don't want to miss that. So hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And, yeah. So, alright guys. If I don't talk to you before, I'll talk to you later.